This is the new 77-inch QD OLED from Samsung Display. And this is a Gamma Scientific handheld spectroreadometer that cost $7,000. If we display a 3% window on the 77-inch QD OLED and use the spectroreadometer to measure the luminance, you can see peak brightness coming in at more than 2,000 nits, making it the brightest QD OLED we have measured yet. Note that this figure was recorded at the panel's native white point of nearly 10,000 Kelvin. So to give you an idea of what you can expect at an accurate color temperature, I first profile a Calorimetry Research CR100 calorimeter to a CR250RH spectroreadometer, and then calibrated the 77-inch QD OLED panel to D65 white point. After calibration, peak brightness measured above 1300 nits on a 10% window at D65, which is around 30% higher than even the brightest QD OLED television from last year. Full field brightness measured 250 nits after calibration at D65 white point, again an increase from 2022. And it's worth emphasizing that on QD OLEDs, the peak brightness is the sum total of the red, green, and blue outputs. So if we measure the red luminance, the green luminance, and the blue luminance of Samsung Display's next-generation QD OLED panel using a 10% window pattern, they all add up to the white luminance of around 1300 nits. By contrast, no pun intended, WRGB OLEDs use white subpixel boosting to achieve higher brightness, so if we do the same measurements of red luminance, green luminance, and blue luminance on a WRGB OLED television, you will see that they only make up a fraction of the white luminance whose biggest contribution actually comes from the white subpixel. Here is how this discrepancy translates to real-world content. While many scenes graded under a certain brightness threshold would look similar between a calibrated QD OLED and a calibrated WRGB OLED, both perceptually matched to a Sony BVM-X300 mastering monitor, the QD OLED would pull ahead in sequences containing brightly saturated colors, providing a closer match to the reference monitor which is also a true RGB OLED display to more faithfully reproduce the creative intent. The brightness increase on the second generation QD OLED is not exclusive to the 77-incher, but extends to the smaller 55-inch and 65-inch panels too, as you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison of a new 2023 65-inch QD OLED panel versus last year's QD OLED of the same screen size. Because the new QD OLED panel used in this demonstration was a pre-production sample, it was driven using an early SOC whose dynamic tone mapping unfortunately over-brightened the HDR presentation compared to the reference monitor so it is difficult for us to draw any definitive conclusion when displaying real-world content. Nevertheless, the raw potential for higher color luminance and overall brightness was certainly there with the next-generation QD OLED panel. And with the screen switched off, we also noticed a slight difference in the way ambient light was handled. Samsung Display said that the anti-glare coating has been improved to produce a more neutral hue, instead of the reddish tint observed on last year's QD OLED. Besides delivering higher luminance, Samsung Display's new QD OLED panel for 2023 will also be twice as durable as the company's first-generation product, while consuming less power to satisfy EU power regulations, with its EEI or Energy Efficiency Index dropping from 1.1 to 0.9. How Samsung Display has managed to unlock these benefits are down to two factors. One, a hyper-efficient electroluminescent layer which minimizes light absorption and enhances light resonance. And two, improved IntelliSense AI version 2.0 algorithm which allows for even more precise pixel control with real-time optimized power management. Coming back to the 77-inch QD OLED panel, most characteristics we've observed on last year's first-generation QD OLEDs were still present. Its spectral power distribution showed beautifully distinct red, green, and blue waveforms. Covering almost 100% of DCI-P3 color space in UV terms, and more than 90% of RAC 220. Dark uniformity on the 77-inch pre-production sample we tested was very good, with some mild vignetting along the sides which didn't bother us in real-world content.
the subpixel structure was unchanged from last year, with the red, green and blue subpixels arranged in a triangular configuration which has been designed to minimize accidental quantum dot activation on QD OLEDs. Otherwise, the brightness and the colors may be compromised. The absence of white subpixels also helps QD OLED displays avoid the near-black overshoot artifacts seen on even the best WRGB OLEDs, particularly in heavily compressed dark scenes. Like the smaller 55-inch and 65-inch versions, the 77-inch QD OLED panel is capable of operating at 144Hz refresh rate, although it is up to individual TV brands to decide whether to support 144Hz or to just cap it at 120Hz. In addition to the 77-incher, another new QD OLED screen size that has been introduced by Samsung Display for 2023 is a 49-inch panel with Super Ultra Wide 32:9 aspect ratio, curved form factor and 240Hz refresh rate, targeted towards the gaming monitor rather than the TV market. Similar to the 34-inch QD OLED launched last year, the new 49-inch QD OLED has been specced to hit 1,000 nits on a 3% window and 250 nits full fill. Furthermore, the 49-inch QD OLED gaming monitor panel meets the requirements of Clear MR9000, the highest clear motion ratio tier from Visa, helped in no small part by OLED's near instantaneous pixel response time, quoted at 0.1 milliseconds gray to gray by Samsung Display. In a side-by-side -side comparison against a 49-inch Super Ultra Wide Mini LED monitor, the QD OLED clearly had the upper hand in picture quality, delivering deeper blacks without blooming artifacts, more vibrant colors, clearer motion and wider viewing angles thanks to OLED's self-emissive display characteristics. Let's sum up. Samsung Display's first-generation QD OLED panels have won accolades after accolades last year and it's encouraging to see that instead of resting on its laurels, the company is pushing the envelope even further this year. New screen sizes have been introduced, and of particular interest to the video enthusiast community will be the larger 77-inch QD OLED panel intended to deliver a more immersive home theater experience. You can see for yourself just how much bigger the 77-inch screen is beside the 65-inch QD OLED. On top of that, there have been improvements in overall brightness, color luminance, durability, and power efficiency, courtesy of an upgraded, hyper-efficient electroluminescent layer, as well as improved pixel control algorithm. I can't wait to get my hands on a 2023 QD OLED TV equipped with this next-gen panel, so that I can put it through my thorough testing process in my own environment just like what I did in this review video of a QD OLED TV here.